This is the introduction of 1 kilowatt non-isolated buck boost DC DC converter reference design for telecommunication equipment. This is the reference design of non-isolated buck boost DC DC converter. It is a highly efficient power supply for telecommunication equipment. It takes minus 48 volts as input, which is common in telecommunication infrastructure. Design information containing schematics, pattern designs, etc. for this power supply is available as a reference design. This reference design of 1 kW non-insulated buck boost DC-DC converter for telecommunication equipment is implemented on a 150 by 150 mm board. Input voltage ranges from minus 60 volts to minus 36 volts, and typical input voltage is minus 48 volts. The output voltage can be switched between 32 volts or 54 volts. The maximum output current varies with the output voltage, however the rated output power is 1 kW. The non-isolated buck boost DC-DC converter is a simple power supply that consists of switching elements such as MOS FET, rectifying elements such as diode and inductor. This power supply performs voltage step up or step down, but the polarity of the output voltage is reversed. In the example shown here, the input voltage is negative and the output voltage is positive, which is similar to that of the current reference design. Energy is stored in the inductor while the switching element is on, and this energy is output through the rectifying element while the switching element is off. The on duty of this switching element is adjusted to control the output voltage. In the example shown here, a diode is used as the rectifying element. However in a power supply that outputs large current, a synchronous rectification method using MOS FET is also used instead of the diode in order to reduce the loss caused by the voltage drop when the diode is forward biased. This is the introduction of block diagram. Synchronous rectification method is used in this design, thus MOS FET is used as the rectifying element. Two-phase interleaved configuration is used, and two 150 volts MOS FETs are arranged in parallel to allow high current. In this configuration, which uses synchronous rectification, the high side MOS FETs as rectifying elements require high speed reverse recovery operation, thus tph 9 r 0 cq 5 MOS FET with high speed built-in diode is used and the low side MOS FETs as switching elements, don't require high speed reverse recovery operation, thus TPH 9 r 0 cqh with normal diode is used. This section introduces 150 volt MOS FETs, used in this non-isolated buck boost DC-DC converter. By using our latest 10th generation UMOS processing and optimizing the cell structure, we have improved the trade-off between on resistance and various charge characteristics compared to the conventional products, realizing low loss in switching applications. TPH9R00CQH and TPH9R00CQ5 used in this reference design have some same characteristics like the on resistance, the gate switch charge, and the output charge. However in TPH9R00CQ5, the reverse recovery time of the built-in diode is 40 nanoseconds, thus making it high-speed diode type. TPH9R00CQ5 is ideal for the high side, which requires high-speed built-in diode. And TPH9R00CQH is ideal for the low side, which does not require high-speed reverse recovery operation. This section explains instructions for using this reference design. Use the jumper CN2 on the board to set the output voltage. Connect a stabilized DC power supply to the VIN terminal and a low to the VOUT terminal. If a voltage between minus 60 and minus 36 volts is input as the input voltage and the jumper CN1 is shorted, the set voltage is output from the VOUT terminal. Be careful not to get an electric shock or burn when checking the operation. An example of efficiency measurement of this reference design is shown here. When output voltage is set to 32 volts and input voltage is minus 48 volts, the efficiency is 94.6% at the rated output power of 1 kilowatt. When output voltage is set to 54 volts and input voltage is minus 48 volts, the efficiency is 94.9% at the rated output power of 1 kilowatt. Using our latest 150 volt MOS FET enables the implementation of highly efficient non-isolated buck boost DC-DC converters for telecommunication equipment. Design information including schematics, pattern designs, etc. is published as a reference design. So please use it for your design.